What's up guys, my name is Jellicut5 and welcome to the preview of Wolves vs Chelsea. Before we do get into this particular video, it'd be much appreciated if you haven't done so already to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Chelsea travel to Molyu in a clash against Wolverhampton Wanderers on Sunday with a 2 o'clock kickoff. Um, an interesting one I have to say and a very nervy one. Um, not something that I'm actually really looking forward to as a, as a uh, supporter of Chelsea whatsoever because I just don't see us doing a lot. Going off the start of the season, obviously we played against Manchester City, Wolves plays against Arsenal, both coming out with 2-0 defeats. Um, in for Wolves looking at the air, uh, kind of analysing their sort of side, obviously they've lost a fair few players over the time and they've normally it's a case where they've sold their best players. So it's hard to say whether they'll ever kind of build as a club. Obviously they've kept their manager Gary O'Neill, very good manager in my opinion. I feel like he's done a good job with them, I have to say. Um, but I'm not too sure if we're going to be seeing a lot from us ourselves um it's a tough one because if you go off the two games that we have played against Manchester City and Servette um I feel like it's clear that there's a lot to be in terms of room for improvement and so on and I just feel like Wolves are a kind of a bit more of a well-managed side and they've got a kind of something going compared to what Chelsea have at the moment um I will obviously get into the lineup in time and different things like that and who I think will play and so on it's interesting to see. Obviously, Wolves have got some problems themselves. They've got a fair few players out. They've got a fair few players suspended also. Uh, Nelson Semedo uh, suspended there. And they've got Gonzalez out. Uh, Kozazic out. Uh, Chiwone out. Um, and out Nori. Not too sure if he's going to be playing at all. So we could make the most of that. But at the same time, I still feel like they're well set up. And they'll definitely give it a go at being the home side. Um, we really need to take the game by the scruff of the neck and get the three points. It has to be said. We cannot be drawing, we cannot lose, we have to win. We really need to get the season going in some way or form and the only way we're going to do so is by getting a victory against Wolves. Um... It's never been a decent stonk stomping ground for us, I have to say. We've always struggled against Wolves away from home. Um, ever since they got promoted from the Championship to the Premier League, they've always been a menace against us. And I'll go into that further in terms of their record against us and so on. But yeah, it's a, it's a tough place to go. It's a tough place to get a result. I'm hoping we're able to do so. But again, it's how they set out. Um, I mean, I think we've seen over the weeks of and the month of uh, Enzo Maresca's appointment, he's been nothing but brutal. Um, some of his comments made in press conferences throughout the weeks, and especially in his most recent one, mentioning if you are not good enough in training, you will not be playing in the first team. And it's very hard, probably, as a manager to say that, but at the same time, I feel like it's about time, because in all honesty, a lot of managers just don't, don't seem to be able to get straight to the point, and they don't allow themselves to be clear on what's going on at the club. So you kind of get a know-how in terms of the players and so on so I feel like there is a unity between the squad I still feel that there's players that are getting played above others that aren't good enough um, but as I say we'll go into that in further detail let's in terms of the head-to-head -head history with uh, Wolves and Chelsea and let's see just how bad it actually is for us in all honesty because it is a very interesting factor so I've actually put the last six games, not the last five, but in the last six, we've lost three, drawn two, and won one. And our actual competitive record against the two teams is the most closest I ever thought it would actually be, in all honesty. Um, between the actual clubs in all competitions, Wolves have won 43 games compared to Chelsea's 44, 30 draws, and 117 previous meetings. That's a really interesting stat, I have to say, and that kind of makes you wonder if Wolves are a slight bogey team for us. Um, obviously, they visited Stamford Bridge last season and won. We went to Molyneux on Christmas Eve and lost. Um, so, yeah, we've not had the best of time against Wolves, and I feel like we have struggled over the course of time, it has to be said. Um, obviously, Pedro Neto is going to be facing his former side wherever he starts or wherever he plays. That's going to be interesting, but... Yeah, I just, I, I don't know, it's, it's really going to be an interesting game and it, it's uh, one of those where I just, I just can't see it going our way. And let's go into our score prediction and let's see how I feel the game will plan out. And I will say look away now because you probably won't like to see it. I, I'm going for a Wolves 2, Chelsea 0. Um, I feel like Wolves are just going to have too much for us. I feel like they're going to be more set out. Our defensive issues are really, really appalling and it needs to be addressed in some way or other because in terms of going in terms of defensive, we look so, so poor. And I know we play, obviously, going to play a diff, completely different side to what we just played on Thursday. But at the same time, it just it opens up so many avenues and I just, I just don't see it really working out for us. And I feel like it's too soon to ask any 
anything from us, but at the same time, we need to be asking everything from us as a side and so on. Let's get into the lineup though, and let's see who I reckon will face Wolves on Sunday. This is my lineup prediction then, and as you can see, this is what we I reckon will face uh, Wolves. <sighs> I'm not confident in it whatsoever, but let's go for it. Sanchez in goal, Cucurella at left back, Fafana and Colwell as two centre back partners with Gusto on the right. Lavi and Caicedo in the middle as a defensive holding midfielders with Felix making his debut on the left hand side. Palmer on the right, he should be fit. And Enzo in that attacking row once again with Nicholas Jackson as a lone striker. Sporting the 4 2 3 1 formation. Um, it's an interesting one. In terms of the goalkeeper, I've always thought that Sanchez has never been good enough ever since he joined the club. Even his appointment was a little bit questionable. Um, at the same time, obviously Maresca wants to start him and he sees Jorgensen as more as an actual competition player and let, instead of a league player. That might change in time, we don't know, but for the moment that is sticking with Sanchez as much as we're not really exactly a fan of that as of the moment. Cucurella on the left-hand side. Renato Vega had a very good debut against Sevetta, has to be said, but I feel like Cucurella will fill the role into the left-back. Wesley Fofana hasn't, wasn't injured, he was only rested for the fact that he played the full 90, so wanted to be rested, but is fit to play against Wolves, so I reckon he'll come in at centre-back, and so will Levi Colwill. Decent partnering between the two, and it seems to be they are going to be the number one centre-back pairing in the Premier League, so that is going to be who I go for the centre-back role. Malo Gusto on the right-hand side got rested as he came on as a substitute against Savet there. I reckon he's fully fit for the game and ready to go. Lavia and Caicedo in the middle. Caicedo played against Savet. He had a really good game. Like Romeo Lavia came on as a substitute, but I feel like the two as a pairing are really good. Seems to be that Romeo Lavia has already embedded himself in a decent starter for the side as he seemed to have a very good debut game against Manchester City. Jao Felix, I reckon, will come in the left-hand side. Obviously, with the players that we played, Christopher and Kuku, uh, Pedro Neto obviously playing the first day I'm not too sure if we are going to see them players I'm, I'm really unsure if we are I think it'd be interesting to shove Zhao in obviously it's a, it's a debut game for himself and I feel like he's got a lot to give doesn't know the system and doesn't know the players as much as what obviously he previously played with he's only got a few players that he actually knows and so on but at the same time I reckon Zhao would be a really good player to get in there he's hungry he loves the club and I feel like it's someone that, that we should implement Enzo Fernandez in the attacking role I don't agree with it but I reckon we'll see it again um um, in terms of midfield options, obviously now not having Conor Gallagher, someone's got to fill the void in that sort of role. Even though I'm not too sure why Conor Gallagher didn't fit the profile because Enzo Fernandez was only trying to replicate Conor's actually moves, but we'll go with it. Enzo Fernandez in the cam role. Cole Palmer on the right hand side. Um, he cut, picked up a little bit of a knock, but Enzo said he was fine, and he, if he is fit, he should feature on Sunday. And there's been no noted factors that he is injured, so we should see him on the right hand side. And Nicholas Jackson up top. Mark Gouy missed an absolute sitter in the open goal. I mean, front of goal sorry as an open goal against the vet um not good whatsoever uh, he's got a lot to give and he and he definitely tries that's for sure but i reckon nicholas jackson will be favored for this particular match and it's about time that he kind of picks himself up and goes really because we need him to get firing as a striker because i'm not too sure if we're going to bring in a number nine but that is going to be my first 11 um at the same time, that could change. We could have Felix come not being playing, and we could and they could start Nani Madueke. I, I would like to see Madueke on that left hand side. To be honest, it'd be interesting to see if he does, especially after scoring on Thursday. I don't see the defence or the midfield changing up whatsoever. I'd love to see Jorgensen in, in between the sticks, but unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. Um. I'm hoping for a result. I don't think we'll get one, but let's see the outcome on Sunday and you'll be able to hear my thoughts on Sunday after that particular fixture. But this is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you never miss a video. Cheers.